Yo, listen, listen. I'm hearing in this for this massive match between Clear and Limerick. And I tell you, if Clear come out to the area with ruthless aggression, and I mean right and bad, ruthless aggression, by God, they'll send Limerick out, 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 I'm with a massive Limerick supporter. Listen, are we going to win today? We'll win easy by 10 points. I just want to thank this young Clare fan. He's after giving me a lovely water gun. And if there's any Limerick villains passing. Ah, villains! Ah. I'm here now with Christopher and Stiffy, the man that got me a ticket for today's match. I was trying everywhere. He got me one. I say this to you. I thank you. I just want to thank this man for giving me a lovely clear hat, a mighty sound gesture. Hail, hail. <laughs> With some big clear supporters, are you going to win today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn them out! <laughs> Would you believe that man there sitting there, his name is the Bully Egan. The Bully Egan. <laughs> the, the buff meets the bull. <laughs> Sorry, would you have a Wexford hat? So no. Oh, you're sold out of Wexford hats. Right, you sold out of Wexford hats. Jeez, look at the crowd. Jesus Christ, look at the crowd. Almighty Jesus. I can, I, I, I can get a text here.
Massive well done to Patrick Hogan. Massive well done to Patrick Hogan, who today became the all-time leading scorer in the hurling championship. An unbelievable achievement. And for that, he definitely deserves two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! Jesus, lads. I've seen it all now. A Mayo jersey at a hurling match. My God, what a win for Cork against Waterford. I tell you, the cat are among the pigeons now. The cat are among the pigeons. Hail, hail.
John Conlon, driving. One Conlon by. One John. One John. Shane O'Donnell. What is that? What is that? Why? 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 by Jim McBurns, cut up the middle and it was absolutely super good another monster of a pint by Tony Kelly, he was a hundred yards out, lash off the belly behind Gordon's Bursting out, and by God, he definitely deserves two claps and a Ric Flair. 
a fair result. As for Limerick, I thought their best man was Mike Casey. By God, he was outstanding at fullback. He burst out, not clear lads, and he gave us the gift of perfect hurling. Drink it in. I'm here now with John Condon's father. By God, your son, he's a man with the strength of two horses, and you can believe that. But it just shows you Limerick can be beaten. To be honest, I thought Limerick were lucky to get the draw, even though maybe it was the fair result, but Clare were the better team. And that's not an insult, that is just a fact of life. <laughs> After today, would I say Clare are now serious All-Ireland contenders? Oh, I would, you? Yeah. I'm with a Clare man here. Where is this Clare team going? To the moon! <laughs> yeah, this really short today. Clare Limerick fan here. Listen, are you going to win the All Ireland? Yeah. yeah. I thank you. <laughs> this man actually is captain of the Munster Junior Wheelchair Hurlers, and he's definitely a man with the strength of two horses. <laughs> and you can believe that. Would you believe I'm with the Innes Diamond Junior Hurling Team? And that tells me there's no team in Clare. <laughs> 